Now, people who live in Burgess Hill have become so enraged by a new traffic system, they're now considering a legal challenge to have it ripped out. Shops say they're losing trade. Cyclists feel unsafe and motorists are stuck in huge tailbacks since the scheme was introduced. It's yet to be completed, but the aim was to encourage more cycling and walking. But opponents say it won't work and there needs to be a U-turn, as Andy Dickinson reports. Becky Adam presented five series of TV's Top Gear. She lives in Burgess Hill but has spent the last few months stuck in a low gear or not even moving at all. A new traffic system bringing many of its residents to a furious standstill and now the cusp of legal action. Pretty quickly we're stuck in traffic. We're coming up to the missing mini roundabout. And uh, yeah, it's only going to get worse. It's like an ideological iceberg and reality's just crashed into it. It's top down, dictates, but the idea just doesn't work on the ground. You can have a tail back this morning. It seems to be going on for about a quarter of a mile. For the last 20 years, Burgess Hill has been seen as a town ripe for development. A new cinema complex, a new library, a shopping centre, all promised but not delivered. Instead, they get this traffic scheme that seemingly nobody wants. They've spent all the money, or are spending £4.7 million on a scheme which it's not only unfit for purpose, it's counter purpose. It's dangerous, it actually makes, uh, reduces safety and it reduces immunity. Well, at the moment, it's quite dreadful because you, you can see all the roadworks going on. Um, and the roads are just so narrow now because they've made them narrower to fit pedestrians and cyclists onto the, um, onto the pavement, a shared path, which really is, is too narrow for that. It's just not going to work. There's a hill behind me. Cyclists can easily be going 15 miles an hour or more on the pavement with pedestrians. It's just not safe. The shopkeepers have lost business. People are actually now avoiding Burgess Hill. We do need to have more cyclists and it would be easier for cyclists but that means also making sure that cyclists are happy and not having potholes but being realistic people can't do their weekly shop cycling. Both Mid Sussex and West Sussex councils say they are listening to feedback and are revising their delivery plan for the government funded project that hopes to improve safety and support a sustainable and prosperous economy. A laudable bid for harmony, so far driving Becky and others to distraction. Andy Dickinson, ITV News, Burgess Hill.